Hello YouTube, I'm back and again with another video. I'm going to be talking about this couple that met on TikTok, and you can see the age gap. Um, you have Kukuiran, who's the male, who's 24, and you have Cheryl, who's 61. And yeah, obviously it's true what they're saying at the top, but this relationship is completely off. Uh, I understand that people can choose who they want to be with in their personal life, who they want to date with. But they were also on a sitcom called uh, Love Don't Judge. So you'll notice they're not the only couple, pair of couple that in are in a weird relationship that don't really mix. I personally would not even want to be with someone who's a lot older, especially someone who could be as old as your grandmother. Because people are going to judge you. Let me explain why. If I'm just find somebody, they have to uh, be willing to adapt. And I feel like, because especially, you know, the age also does matter, because I feel like depending on your age, your body functions completely different from younger people or, like, from certain age age groups. And I think the reason why this man or this couple decide to even be interested in each other, even try to go as far, is, like, take it to the next level, because they have... They have some type of mutual interest, whether it's TikTok, movies, they even talked about it. And they're doing these cringe, and on top of on top of being a nasty couple, doing all these weird cringe dances. And they, I understand you shouldn't care what other people think. I, I'm, I'm that kind of person too, but it just doesn't, it just doesn't fit well with the society. And yeah, uh, like, people can have their own opinions, they can say this is right, this is wrong, but let me explain why the, why this won't, this won't, almost, this won't turn out well, because you, you, the relationship might not last that long, because that person could eventually not be able to keep up with you. I want to be able to be, if I'm to be, he could have chose somebody, and if he really wanted to be with an older woman, why can't you, why can't you choose someone in their 30s or 40s? That way he could have lived like lived his life a lot longer with that person, especially someone in their sixties. Like, and it's, it's unfortunate because this guy is younger than me, so I have more experience. I don't care that much, but even though I haven't really been into dating that much, even though it's been a, it's been a while since I've been thinking about it, I don't focus too much on it because I know there's gonna it's gonna lead to some uh, issues or there's gonna be some kind of setback where. It may turn out good in the beginning, but then later there's gonna there's gonna there's gonna be more to come with it that I have to be able to prepare for, so that I end up screwing myself over. But which he clearly is, I'm but to be real, like we can't really judge. But it is very cringy and weird, and there is more to it than meets the eye, though. Let's be honest. Like they're doing this same, like I said. Mainly, they want they want people they want to let everybody know out there uh, who they are because they want to get the views. It's whether they are happy with the relationship, that's up to them. But like, like let me let me let me let me set an example. Let's say like an adult that's in his thirty early thirties and he's dating a teenager. Like let's say somewhere eighteen nineteen. That would make me feel uncomfortable to be honest, because I feel it still feels like I'm in a like I'm I'm actually talk communicating with someone that's that still has doesn't have that that, that that has a brain that isn't fully developed yet, and I feel like you you can mix them up you can people will question you whether you're you're talking with somebody who is an adult and you're and you're with somebody who isn't with the adult age group and who isn't in their adolescence stage yet. And I can't proceed with somebody who might look a certain way. They can't. I feel like they have to. They can't look too young. It can't. It can't be a situation where people will look at me and think that I'm in this uh, odd relationship. Because, but if I, to be honest, if I were to choose to be in a relationship, it has to be someone I'm comfortable with. Let's be real. And they have to be. They have to be able. They have to be around my age group. They don't have to be too, I don't want them, I want to be sure they aren't too young, they aren't too old, but at the same time, they have to be mature. They have to be consenting adults for me to actually approach that person. But like I said, like, this, the people could claim whether this is a hoax, but in, in, in reality, there are people who are comfortable with the relationship. And my fear is, like, you do not want to indulge kids 
there's the the issues it's not that the people the people that are in this relationship also you have to think about tiktok this could indulge kids when they get older when then it's when they decide to go to uh be in this kind of scenario this is because it gives them these uh, brain helps them it makes them brainstorm these ideas whether the, if this is what, what what they want in their life which is clearly something they should avoid pronto and in a way, these are the these are adults we're talking about. They're basically influencing young kids. Imagine the number of kids that use TikTok. Also, you have to you have to you have to you have to consider that. But I don't want if you were to if, whether they're in this they should the thing is about, about relationship. You should always I personally feel like you should keep it private, as long as you have your life sorted out, as long as you you feel like people can trust you they can lay they can actually put their faith in you then then is reason enough for you to actually keep going and to continue to doing what you're doing and trying to um, please your audience your viewers your fans whoever but listen this, the parents will not be pleased by the kids that are watching this seeing a huge age gap it's very not it not only is it nasty it just seems really weird in my opinion it just isn't it's very cringe because what what is it a 60 year old that has in common with this, an adult that's literally in their 20s or 30s or 40s if a 60 year old wants to be in a ship i feel i personally believe that they should be with somebody that's in their 50s or around their age group like it just because you'll notice because and, and i'm not exaggerating the thing is because I personally feel that a person that's in their elderly years, their body does not, is not as advanced, is not as developed, or is not how they used to be. It, they they cannot be able to keep up with younger adults, because the, the more you age, it just feels weird when you try to get intimate with the person. It just it, it doesn't have that same uh, like, like ex it doesn't have that same exhilaration. You don't feel any like of that. I don't have that urge. Like I'm personally wondering if this man even has that urge, or he's just doing this for clout. I can't have that urge where I want to approach someone who's too old, or is still in diapers, who is still a minor. But again, it's embarrassing. Like again, I I can't really judge the person's relationship. But I personally feel like it is best that they keep it private, and not share this with the whole world because. You, I, and I'm doing this, and I'm not doing this, I'm personally not saying this for myself, I'm saying it so that these people can avoid, uh, like, drama, they don't get into some sort of harassment, because people might, you don't, you don't know how people will, 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 will react when they see you in public, because there are people who have a, who are, who have, like, um, that moral high ground, also, you need to also think about people who, who fight for, who believe they're fighting for the right cause, who have standards, because they're, they're people that want to fight for like a more over the, especially who have, who believe in moral code, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys, who believe, who have a sense of moral code and think that this is immoral, that in, in some sort of way that, and it is to be honest, because, because it gives people thoughts whether the 60 year old maybe because I don't want to exaggerate. This this might give people ideas that maybe the six year old has groomed this man from when he was like a minor, like when she's somewhere around her fifties, late forties, and then he was manipulated to be in a relationship with her. And that's what I'm trying. That's the that's the info that I'm trying to give you guys. Is that with the huge age gap, people it will be concerning because you would think that. It led to it's at at some point that it had to lead to grooming that this person must have been grooming them from the beginning and it led to this weird relationship that does not blend in well with society and that's what society is trying to do is protect younger people so they don't be influenced and that's why I bring it up and then I don't think these people care but it's also to be aware of what you could do like by persuading young minds and that you also want to be able to educate kids. Into, into choosing the right path so that they, in, in, you end up misleading them into something that they might regret in the future and they don't want to be judged for it because a lot of kids, they want to fit in, but they don't want to be judged for it. So parents are also concerned how, if this will dwell in the minds of their kids, 
of minors, but people, that's why in society, today, society, we want to prevent that. And that's what counts. That's up to you if you guys want to be in the ship. I think the issue is that they, they decide to put this on social media and claim that this is normal because if they do, is that there are kids that might have second thoughts. That it may not be every kid, but again, we want to be able to help kids realize that this is this is not this is morally incorrect, and that we want to be able to fix their lifestyle, and so that kids can feel indulged to do the right thing, and they can feel comfortable around people, and they can be able to adapt with the real world. Because it doesn't, in reality, most people would not be in this kind of relationship, would even choose to be in this situation. Because you know that if you were an adult with a lot of knowledge, you, you, you'd be sure that you want to avoid being in this situation because you feel it will not, it will not, it will not end well for you. And people are going to have second thoughts. And you want to be able to live a normal life, too. It just does not seem normal to me, what, I'm, what we're looking at here. But it seems like, again, not everyone has the same mindset. It all, like, again, it's all, it's all up to the person's decision. The, uh, the adult can choose to live their life however I can't really decide. I'm not to do that. But I just want to give sh share my opinion and feel that. And let people know that, to me, like, to be real, this isn't right. But, again... It's their decision. I just, as long as you're not influencing kids, that's all that matters. But again, we should take this into consideration and be sure that adults can be able to choose how they want to live their life. But then at the same time, we don't want to be able to manipulate young minds. And those are my final thoughts. I hope you guys have a better understanding. And again, be able to realize I'm trying to give the benefit of doubt here but at the same time is that maybe they don't understand that they don't, they don't see it that way but again because these these kids are very impressionable and we want to be sure that we can avoid at all costs that these kids don't be lured into this kind of uh trap and they don't end up being stirred into this debacle where some people might realize that when they get older or where they go to school that they they we want to possibly be sure that these kids feel safe and again because these are decisions that we we refuse for for these kids to, to decide to choose again hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to check for more upcoming content later future be sure to check your notifications comment like subscribe thank you